Hello guys, welcome back to another Android Studio tutorial and today we are going to create the widget for our Android application. So for that we have to go the app then go to the rest and under the rest we can find the layout as usual just click on that. Now right click go to new and go down and click on the widget then app widget. In this case you can see the class name is asking for us asking the class name so we have to add something um, for an example my reject activity placement is home screen or we can also place it on the lock screen so i'm just going and clicking on both of these now we have the option to choose the horizontal and vertical uh, orientation i'm selecting the both one and here in the minimum width the cells i'm selecting four and the uh, minimum height into two or four itself in normal cases four is used to uh, make the widget for news and other notifications so for an example i'm just going with the uh, one or two okay and now just click the configuration screen it's generate the widget configuration activity now click the finish and as you can see really faster it created the activity all the layout files okay uh, so what next is that we have our activity main.xml i'm just closing it i'm also closing the main activity.java because we don't need any more that files in this case so next Let's go to the my act, my widget activity, and as you can see here is a sample text that is example. I'm simply going to the strings and making it into your name, so we can find. What, what where does it actually exist in the widget probably this is the name for your widget so if you want we can also name it as widget name and after that we can see the configure this is in the settings in the widget and here is the add widget button so now we have changed the name now let's go to the my widget activity configure.xml and here you can see there are one text view edit text and one button so as you can see the configure is the text view and the edit text is the space we have given and next we have the button here to submit so if you want we can customize this all these things and as you can see this is actually only up to this that the padding is is given as 16 as we have selected only two rows if you want we can increase the size here into 16 into 32 now we get a little more a uh, little more space over here i'm just making it as 16 for this tutorial I'm bringing the configure into the sender so gravity sender now let's try it on a live device and check it out so guys right now we have our application in a live device I'm just going to the widgets and here you can see our widgets is now active here with the 4, four into 2 as the ratio it's name of example as we have seen in that XML file. So just clicking and dragging the button to dragging the widget towards here. When I take on my finger, as you can see, it shows a window where how to enter the name of the widget. I'm simply naming it as Sabbath Pikachu Manor. Okay, so we have the configure bar configure text view at the bo at the top and at the middle we have the edit text and here is the apply button that is add widget when i click the add widgets and as you can see now here is my name 
as a text view on the widget now I can drag it over okay so now I can increase the size and drag it over anywhere at least it need two widget space so now I can able to drag it to down or anywhere so I hope you have guys got the idea about how the widget works in the uh, Android Studio so thanks for watching this video have a nice day guys